Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're going to start ourselves another run here, and we're going to do Greed Mode for the first time. So, to unlock Lilith, you have to play as a Zazel. Well, you have to beat Greed Mode as a Zazel, so let's get to it. I didn't unlock anything new with Isaac, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so let's see. The heart... Shit, boss rush. It says I didn't unlock something as the lost. I'm pretty sure I got the dark room as the lost. That's weird. Or Eden. Okay, maybe it's just something different because you need to beat the game. Oh, there's six because I actually beat Afterbirth as Isaac. That makes sense now. Maybe the dark room and the chest are all one now? That might make a bit sense. Alright. Forget getting distracted. Let's do it. Just remember, Azazel, you can fly. You start with three black hearts, and you have Brimstone shot, but it's only short range. Oh, that's basically an HP upgrade right there. How Greed Mode works is you already get restock, and you see different items show up in the shop. Now, you have to be, like, very cautious because, well, money is pretty scarce. And in order to get money, you basically, well, have to survive. Oh, they got a demon judgment in here? Really? Uh, none of these items are worth taking. So, I'm just gonna go. I know what you're thinking, you know, if you take Guppy's hairball, you get it one step closer to Guppy. Like, if I wanted a Guppy item, wouldn't I just go with nine lives? Or Guppy's head? Okay, you see that little timer over there? The next wave of enemies will come out when that timer hits zero. What also allows the timer to go to zero is if you already killed the enemies in that wave. The more enemies you kill, or the more waves you go through without pressing that little button to stop the timer, or to stop the waves, the more money you get. And obviously Azazel is very good for starting off. Like other characters, you might struggle a little bit, because remember, you don't have all this kind of power. Oh, that was bad damage. That Brimstone has. Even if it's short range, it's so much better than what you got going on otherwise. Oh my god, I dodged right into the shot. That was just dumb of me. Oh, careful with those poops. You know what? Petrified poop might be worth taking. When you get to, like, the 8th wave, the enemies will stop coming. Then you have to deal with the bosses next. And there's, like, two waves of bosses. Wow, Petrified Poop rarely paid out. Okay. X-Ray Vision is useless. So we'll take this? Crackjacks! Oh, it gives you a random trinket. Okay, it didn't really do much for me otherwise. Well, it gave me a Red Heart. So I think I got an HP upgrade out of that. Ah, so I should go get that key. Let's do that. Would've liked to get Mom's key, too. Ooh, Daddy Long Legs. Yeah, you cannot bomb into the item rooms. Remember, there's like two... Oh, I did not mean to press that! Yeah, you actually take damage when you want to stop the waves. Which I think is kind of dumb, but it is what it is. Well, I can reset the wave, of course. So it's not like it's completely gone from ya. It's just that something I pressed by accident. Well, they put her like right in the middle, so it's kind of easy to make that mistake. Finally, I was waiting for the haunt to shoot. Okay, and when you clear out the bosses, you can leave. Or, you can press this button again, and take on an alternate wave. Larry Jr. and Lost. Very odd pairing, if you ask me. But you know what? Larry Jr. can help me out to give me, like, a little bit of extra finances. And Petrified Poop will kick in. And we already know what's in our Devil Room anyway, but I think the price may have changed because I now have a Red Heart. It did. Okay. So you know what? We will take Guppy's Hairball. Get us a little bit closer to that Guppy dream. We should probably take a key on the way back. Because it may not be available in our next shop. 
Of course, you gotta kill out all these enemies, too, before you can leave to go to the next floor. Which should not be a problem. Alright, let's move on to the next wave. Like here, you'll just go straight to the caves. Like, it's not like two basements or anything. Ah, Mom's Eye. Could be interesting. Could be a little worthless. Little Steven is also pretty good. Let's we'll check out our curse room before we go. Oh, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button! Okay, I didn't think we'd be burned with both buttons there. Okay, it's looking a little scary. And I think Daddy Longlegs might play a little role in that. Wow, Mom's Eye actually paid dividends there. Like, if it connects, it doesn't always connect, though. Okay, this is the music that plays in the Flooded Caves. It's actually a very good track, too. Like, if I can save one thing about Isaac, the thing that might actually just be as good as, if not better than the game itself, is the game's music. Like, it's just really moody and intense. Like, they made, like, every new track, like, memorable. Jeez, we got through the eight wave already? That was fast. Let's see what's in our shop. Uh, blue map is useless. HP upgrade is probably not useless. Well, ringworm's not gonna do anything for me. So, you can actually put some money in here to reset what the items are if you don't like them. But I do like the HP upgrade, and it gives me extra damage. Mom's Pearls is also here. I think that just gives you, like, range and luck. I don't know. We'll just, like, take on our bosses right now. Okay, try not to press the button by accident like an idiot like you did last time. Okay, that's a new enemy. I think it's called the Split? I don't remember. But it's basically the undead Polycephalus. Like, sometimes you'll use the tentacles, or other times you'll just keep repeating waves of shots. Speaking of Polycephalus, there he is. And Pin! Again, very odd pairings you had to go against. Oh, yeah, you would launch yourself right into me like an asshole. Oh, got Krampus. You know what? I'll be happy with either or, but I guess we get Lump of Coal. Lump of Coal is not bad. Uh, do I really want Mom's Pearls? Probably not. I definitely don't see any value in the blue map. Because remember, as far as I know, there are no secret rooms in this, uh, in greed mode. Like, the layouts just would not dictate that you would find a secret room. Alright, let's move on to the depths. Yeah, this rate, we're gonna get Lilith unlocked in no time. And in here, uh, Mysterious Liquid, fine. Okay, it does actually work with Azazel. That's pretty cool. I was thinking it'd be useless. A caffeine pill. Oh, it was a bad trip. That was not what I needed. Let's see what's in our shop. Uh, BFF is kind of useless. Oh, that wasn't, though. Got me some extra bombs. You know what? I don't like any of these items, so... Yeah, we'll just reshuffle them. Red Candle! You know what? We don't have an active item. Oh my god, the D4 is there too. Yeah! You know, that'd be a good idea in green mode. Just re-roll your entire run. What could go wrong? Other than everything. There you go. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. You are pretty much my spirit animal for this green mode. Now, can you stop all those skulls for me? That'd be pretty awesome too. Oh, it's these guys. At least they all appeared on one side. Oh god, Daddy Longlegs. You have been my hero in all this. Oh god. Huh, the super troll bombs actually helped. Okay, we're doing really well for ourselves. I don't like these items either, but I will take a key. 
Oh, had to put in more money. Okay. It's kind of useless with this item that I got here. But Charge Baby is actually pretty cool. Now, I might get a better active item, so we'll take it. He'll sometimes drop a battery for you. Should get rid of these schmucks before we deal with Peep. Wow. Nice damage loadout. Oh, it's Gish. Imagine if they added, like, weaknesses. Because he's a ball of tar. What if, like, R Candle or, you know, like, Fire Mind could do extra damage? Oh my god, is that a new hunt? Oh my god, what is that? Well, I don't even know what this thing is called. Because I never saw him otherwise. Please, guppy items. Okay, fine. No guppy items. It's not like I wanted to keep going anyway. Oh, God. We're in dire straits right now. I guess we should take the blue cap. Oh, that's a nice little item, too. I wish I had enough money for that. Like, shot speed down is not going to affect Azazel's attacks at all. But it was nice to get that little bit of extra HP. Well, we should check out here first. Loki's horns or Brother Bobby? Um... Yeah, we'll go with Loki's horns. Remember, I could only choose one. There's Speedball. Kind of wish it was Synth Oil, but beggars can't be choosers. Also, when you go beyond the womb, you don't take a full red heart damage in greed mode. But that's only for greed mode. Or regular mode if you got the wafer. Oh, they don't get damaged by the spikes, apparently. Oh god, I walked in that like an idiot. Thought I could have the red candle ready, but oh god. But I couldn't. That wave is still going because of this guy. Okay, I got him dead. Unless there was a... Oh, this is just the next wave. Oh god, Beamos! Oh god, I almost landed right on top of that enemy. Okay, Loki's horns is actually working really well here. Oh god, almost walk right into the enemies again. What the? What even hit me there? Did an enemy spawn right on top of me? Because that's been known to happen. Thunder thighs would be useless here. Uh, do I take Champion's Belt? To be honest, I don't want to take any of it. So I'm just going to shuffle these. Uh, toothpicks would be pretty good. Yeah, we'll take the toothpicks. Oh, so with that. Oh, it's war. I was wondering, do we have to fight a new boss? I realized, no, it's one we've already dealt with. Guess I was able to stop him for that brief moment. Oh, almost walked right into that shot. Who are we fighting? Oh, Skolex. Is that a champion Skolex? Because he looks bigger. The top attack is exactly the same, though. Man, we're just finding new stuff out all the time. It's awesome, but it's also frightening, especially like with this amount of health, which right now I can only take four hits and then I die. I don't want to go into that curse room. I'm kind of worried. Oh, God. Double gate. Oh, that was a good start there. Just walk right into the shot. Wait a minute. This is champion gate. Those shots are new. Hmm. 
You know what? I think our deal with the devil will save us. But I don't want to take anything else, because I know I'm just going to get killed. There's no donation machine for me to blow up, is there? No, there isn't. But I gotta buy at least one key. Let's buy the tarot card too. Oh, I was holding out all hope that it would be like the Hierophant. But I guess that's not happening. Okay, I think my greed is working against me here. Well, I got bombs, so let's check for soul hearts. Okay, no bomb, no soul hearts here or here. Or there, because, you know, I'm not going to get any. Full-on HP upgrade was would definitely be good for us. Should I have taken it right away? I don't know. Cricket's body. With this kind of attack. I feel like our range is kind of smaller. Or is that just my imagination? Oh, yeah, we definitely got to buy that soul heart there. We're up against it here. Like, we're literally up against it. God, that's a new enemy right there. They're basically zombies, but I think they will leave behind a creep. Oh my god. These guys shoot constantly. Uh, thanks for the batteries that I won't find useful. Okay, just take out a lot of rats. Go. Oh god. This is something I need. Deal with masks and hearts. I gotta stop looking at what wave I'm on. That's gonna get me killed. What is shooting? Oh, these guys. Oh, we're not clear of that wave yet. Now we are. Good. Was I just a ghost again? We've already had that wave. Now that I'm complaining. non habit is useless. Oh, all of these are useless. Well, the soul heart's not. I should buy another one. Yeah, let's do that. And then buy one more. Okay, that's a really good cushion. Okay, dark one will not be a problem. Oh, that was a dumb hit I took there. It was the minion that practically got me. Okay, bonies and death. Okay, red candle actually helped me out there. Yeah, go into the fire. There you go. All these batteries, and I have no use for them. Eh, you know what? We'll buy one more soul heart. And then we'll check out our curse room. Two keys. Okay, I'll, I'll live with that. Oh god, those skull haunts are back. That triple brimstone, is that supposed to be like some kind of counter? Because they were like hunched over. And as soon as it stopped hunching over was when they shot that. And they shot that when I shot him at him. Demon baby, uh, it's not worth taking. Okay, we're almost done with breed mode. We just gotta keep pressing on. We're, this is like the second last floor. The shop. It was funny that they actually named it after that. What is this? I don't know what it is, and that makes me want it more. Can I get some bombs out of this? Oh, an eternal heart would be nice. No, there's a donation machine! God damn it. Well, I guess when we're done, and we still got lots of money, eh, I don't know. I should get rid of all this fire in case I'll run right into it. Because knowing my luck, I'll probably do that. Watch out for the guineas. I call them that because they look like the original ghost from Legend of Zelda. In case people are curious as to why I've come up with that nomenclature, even though that's not their actual name in Isaac. Oh god, greed! 
Well, you can't have a green mode without greed, am I right? As much as I'd love to. Okay, he's costing me money here. Oh god, there's like so much shit going on at once. Okay, that just completely made the room that much easier. Oh god, now you got spike blocks? Where's the guineas? Oh, there he is. Oh, more bullshit coming. Oh god, destroy the corpse, you might get spiders. I think the candle destroyed him. Oh god, now they spawn the corn flies. Oh my god. Okay, the candle can destroy those. That's pretty interesting. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Chaos! Okay. I got a bomb, which I'm happy about. There is a tinted rock over here. Okay, an extra soul heart. That definitely saved my life. Don't see the need to get a key. So let's take on the bosses. Double conquest! Of course, both times I get close to him, he's gonna fire off the homing shots. Because, you know, why not? Okay, one's dead. The other one's dead, too. Good. Okay, double pin and the split. Wait, that's not pin! That one's got bones! That's a new pin! Ah, oh, I couldn't get anywhere near him! That was a rough wave. Oh, God. I don't have anything there that can really help me in this scenario. God, this is double split, isn't it? Again, I can't say for certain that's its name. Don't lose that eternal heart now. Even though I would not be blamed if I did. That guy's literally giving me no space to move. Okay, he's dead. We're gonna keep the eternal heart, guys. Oh, there's still these minions lying around. Okay, our deal with the devil, what is that gonna give us? Nothing I can use. I'm too afraid this thing's gonna kill me. Or take out my eternal heart, and thankfully it didn't. Okay, and I can't reset any of these items. What do I want out of anything? Well, if we gotta take an item, we might as well take Mom's lipstick. Ah, oh, if only I had more money. I literally can't take anything else. Screw it, we'll take the umbilical cord just because. And I don't want to go to that curse room. Okay, we're going into the last floor with three red hearts. Curse the blind, well, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to get any items anyway. And the monstro appears out of nowhere. I think it's always monstro that you'll see here. You know, just give you a little bit of, like, a taste of things to come. Ultra Greed! Alright, this is the true final boss of Greed Mode. Okay, he's gonna create keys. And sometimes that's those coins will actually give him power-ups. Like, if those are keys, he's gonna open those doors right over there. And those doors, whenever they're used, they'll release minions. The hearts will give him health. As you see, he just got stronger. Also, those greed heads are not helping matters much. 
I'm doing a lot of damage to, to Ultra Greed, don't get me wrong. But having a boss that can replenish his own health? That's frightening! Like, just fighting him is the ultimate wall card, because when he spawns those coins, they can be anything! And when he does that little Zangief twirl, get a watch out for those coins. Like that, see? Okay, I can only take three more hits and I'm dead. Worst case scenario, the, co the coins that you have to dodge spawn right next to you. I think some of the money on the ground is actually like what I dropped from those greed heads. It's good to know you can actually destroy those coins before he can use them himself. Uh oh. Yeah, it's a lot worse when all five of those heads pop up. Or when all five of those doors open. Because then you'd have like an endless onslaught of minions. Now, I'm not talking about those, like, freaks you see on Facebook all the time. In irrelevant posts! Guys, I think we're gonna win this. Nice bomb, by the way. We did it! Ultra Greed has perished. We got Lilith unlocked, the blue bomber, and pay to play. Oh, yeah. I rule and brains. We'll put all this money in. Why not? Can I destroy Ultra Greed? No, I can't. Maybe if I had a bomb, I could. Ah, uh, too bad I can't use the fire here. But we won. There we go. And we got ourselves a new ending. Oh. Creepy. Yeah, that's it was in his mouth. No, but he's so happy. All right, we got Lilith unlocked. Oh, we got the challenge modes unlocked. 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All afterbirth challenges have been unlocked. Ooh, lucky pennies have appeared in the basement. Interesting. All right, so I guess we'll stop the video right here, and in the next episode, maybe we'll do a daily run or a standard run. Hold on, let's see if, like, if greed mode actually shows up on things you gotta complete. Yes, it does. Okay, so it looks like there's nine things you gotta get on your post-it note now, as opposed to, what What was the last time, five or six? That's gonna make things very interesting. Alright, stay tuned for the next episode. Maybe we'll give Lilith a try. Goodbye, everyone.